Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to either the final or the penultimate episode before the finale, the grand finale of Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. It's been a wild ride. This is either the third last, second last, Just a few well, third last or second last, because, yeah, we have the finale, and like I said, that one's going to be a bit special. Not a bit. It's going to be quite special. It's going to be the most amount of work I've ever put into a video in a while. In a while. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it's a finale befitting this man right here, Adjunok, who we have spent... Who we have spent... Is that... 137.55.52? Is that 137 hours, 55 minutes, and 52 seconds? I feel like it's not, and I feel like I'm stupid, but I also think that it is. Let's save once more. Let's play for, like, two more seconds. And then we'll load. 56. Yeah, that was about one second and point eighteen seconds. Yeah, so we've had to have spent about 137 hours on this guy. If you've watched every minute... Oh, wait, no, you have, no, well, you haven't seen all of that, because a lot of it has been off camera. Some of it, anyways, a decent amount. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have two things left to do in this Let's Play. Two things. One of the things we'll do right now. We're going to head to Whiterun. Let's do it. And remember, we're level 81. We are level 81. Actually, we've got three things. We've got to get archery to 100, too. But I'll most likely do that off camera, because that will take forever and eternity. Um, okay, I thought, uh, oh my god, this dragon is still here messing everything up. Well, maybe messing nothing up. Uh, let's wait four hours. Okay. Well, that's odd. Let me head to Falkreath, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go to my Lakeview Manor. Sire, sorry I'm being weird. I really thought something was gonna happen, and, and most of you probably know what I thought was going to happen. Hmm. Okay, maybe some time needs to pass. Are you, who? Are you really trying to invade my home? My home? Where I live? Did you say mercy? Did you just say mercy? Okay, I'm trying to be dramatic, but you're taking like way more damage than I would have thought. Anyways, yeah, no one no one messes up my home. No one. Let's drag your body away from here. Go down over there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can imagine, one of the final things that we need to do is fully upgrade our house. It's been a while here, but uh, we've given Lydia some time to furnish things. I'm pretty sure we got most everything anyways, but maybe given this time, she's um, uh, filled up everything that we didn't have, such as the goat horns and all that, the goat, the hides and the trophies what and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'd like you to buy some materials, materials for me. Of course. What are we running short of? I don't need anything else. Very good, sir. <laughs> God, I love how NPCs just put up with your nonsense. I need I need you to buy some things for me. Uh, nothing. I need nothing. I'd like you to buy some furnishings for the house. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Entry room. Interesting. Entry room. Huh. Okay, so yeah, we remodeled it. Remodeled it into a sort of... Uh, right thing, the the right room that we need to have. So I guess that doesn't count as fully remodeled. Uh, entry room. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Okay. I'm a thane. No. What does that mean? The I've title. never heard this Thanes from you before. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Why can I buy this again? Entry room. I'm sorry, but you can't afford that right now. I can't afford that right now. Interesting. Do you know where I can buy materials like glass or straw? Hmm. You might try gray pine goods in Falkree. They carry all sorts of things like that. 
What does a house carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. Okay, cool. I'll... All right, let's wait 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen, while I talk about what I thought was going to happen. So, when you reach level 80, I don't even think it's 81. If you get 100 in all skills, as you can see, if you get less than 100 in all skills, uh, you become 81. And that's sort of the maximum level. You can, of course, reset skills. You can make them legendary and keep on leveling up. I don't honestly see the point unless I guess... I guess that does give you the perk points, doesn't it? Because you get a perk point for every level. So you can, in theory, maximize every single and skill. So if you wanted to do that, that's cool. I don't really understand the point, considering it's not like you're going to... If you could try to be a jack of all trades, I don't know how realistic that's going to be. Um, but when you hit level 80 with Dragonborn, I believe it was Dragonborn, the second DLC, or I guess the third, including Hearthfire, there was a quest added that only activates once you hit level 80. And I thought when you hit level 80, you just travel to a main town. And I believe every time it's happened to me, I've been in Whiterun. So as you can see, we're level 81. So I figured if we travel to Whiterun, something would happen. Now, I'm going to need to research a little bit to see if I went wrong somewhere. And also, we have to fully furnish our house. But I want to give Lydia some time. Uh, because apparently, if we have her furnish things, it takes a little bit of time. But she will um, furnish everything. So, give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. I need to... Ladies and gentlemen, I need to check on two things. And I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I found out that furnishing is quite the bad way to furnish your house, having a steward furnish, uh, because it takes forever. And you can do it yourself, and you can do it uh, yourself in the time that it takes for your steward to furnish anyways. So, that's pretty lame. Um, but, let's just talk to Lydia Honor one to more time. Of course. What room? I'm sorry, but you can't afford... It's odd that I can't afford 1,000 gold considering I have 80,000 gold, almost 90,000 gold. But whatever, Lydia. Let's use the workbench and see what we can make. Okay, so it is all the mounted head stuff. So yeah, we need uh, all, of the, all of this stuff. We need leather strips, easy. Bear pelt, kind of easy. Uh, saber cat pelt, two saber cat teeth. Uh, two, two saber cat tooth. Saber cat snow pelt. God, this stuff is really hard. It's like vocal warm-ups to say. Um, so that's what we have for this entry room. Now, since I have Lydia furnish this entry room, and I don't know if she's currently tasked to doing that, considering she's saying I can't afford it, which makes me think she is already tasked to doing it, which is why she isn't saying that she can do it. Uh, I'm assuming this room is done. I'm assuming she will eventually get the pelts and all that stuff needed and then furnish that herself. Now, into the main room, we have this carpenter's workbench, which has nothing. So we can remove that, and I think to do that, we need to go out to the main hall. Or go outside and use the thing there. Now, these things are considered wings, right? So if I use this, this is the wing, and we've got nothing. So we're done there. Okay, now what about this wing? Nothing. So this is done as well. All right, so this might all be because I didn't realize after I furnished mostly everything myself that I told Lydia to furnish everything uh, as well. So she may have finished up everything, but I don't think she goes down into the basement, which is notoriously the hardest part to fully furnish. Now, this is a wing too, but we have nothing there as well. Or is it a wing? Because we have yet another workbench here. Now, here's where everything is. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of stuff to finish up there and let's head down into the cellar uh what we're going to be doing this episode is just basically reviewing what we have to do and we'll probably uh, probably do one more episode um where i will just have gotten all of the ingredients and then we'll record one final episode where we complete the house so on this carpenter's work, uh, workbench yeah we have a whole bunch of stuff as well so yeah basically i'm just showing you guys what i need and i'm gonna go grab everything um, off camera, because obviously you guys don't want to see me get materials for 10 years, because that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be like 10 years. And then the final episode of this Let's Play, before the finale, the final norma, uh, normal episode, will be me completing our house. So that's what's on the docket. And then we'll have one final episode befitting Adrenoch. Uh, so that's it for that. Let's go upstairs. We basically just need a whole bunch of stuff for containers and things. Lydia, can you get to furnishing, please? That would be wonderful. Oh, this is so cool. This is such a cool little room. Um, Alright, so there's a workbench here. 
problem is I'm not sure what belongs to what. I don't think I'll remove any of these workbenches until none of them show anything uh, that I need to still complete. Okay, so that's basically it. You guys saw all, uh, saw all of that. Basically just a ton of containers, which is going to be the easy part. Uh, and in here, I think Lydia will complete the pelts and everything like that. And if not, we'll be able to do that. So for the remain, uh, remain, god damn it, I cannot talk this episode. I need to say that like saber cat pelt, snow cat saber pelt, pelt snow cat pelt, saber, saber cat snow pelt. Okay. For the remainder of this episode, ladies and gentlemen, while Lydia is furnishing the house, we're going to be traveling to uh, every major hold and looking for somebody. I'm not sure why. I, I, I just did some research, and this person should definitely appear, even though we're level 81. They do appear at level um, 80, and we're one level above, but they should still appear, because I've definitely found this person on other characters when they have been level 81. So we're going to travel to every major hold and we're going to wait like three hours. We're going to wait just a little bit just to see if that activates somebody. So Markarth is a no-go. And this will also be kind of just one last look at all of the major holds in Skyrim considering this is Skyrim Special Edition. Um, I did go back to... I did go back to uh, Classic Skyrim recently, and since I'm doing the Bruma mod on stream, check out the stream in the description below if you want to check that out. And uh, it does look vastly different when you go back. It, um, at least to me, it looks, it looks quite different. All right, I'm kind of getting a little anxious here because I remember with all my other characters, this uh, this person appeared pretty much as soon as I hit level 80 and I've been avoiding I've been avoiding big towns for this specific reason I wanted to wait near the end of this let's play in order to have this interaction I might have to just find this person off camera because he doesn't seem to be appearing ha huh. all right well that was solitude let us head over to I think Morthal is where I just clicked now, there are some theories that this man appears in the town you were at when you reached level 80. And I'm trying to think, where in the world was I? It was probably off camera. No, I did it on the stream. Or, uh, sorry, I did it in a Let's Play episode. I remember because I saved my points. I saved my experience up to level 79. And then I leveled up and I showed you guys reaching level 80. And where was that? Gosh, I could go back and look at my own videos and realize, but th he should come to a town, like a major town. And it's really making me anxious. I know we're going to have trouble. Yeah, you say the same things. All right, let's wait. Eight hours here. Oh, boy. Well, I'll be looking to the comments on this video for sure. If anyone has a similar experience. Every time this has happened, I've usually, every time I've reached level 80 or 81 on a character, I've, it's usually been in Whiterun that this encounter happens. We're running out of places to go, ladies and gentlemen, although maybe he goes to the place of the hold you were in, and I'm pretty sure when I leveled 280, uh, this dragon, I really hope this dragon is, is Wait, not what's messing everything up. I know up. you. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. What am I a wanted man for? Twelve gold? I'm with the guild. How about you look the other way? All right, all right. Just keep your voice down, and don't let me catch you again. I really wish this dragon could get out of here. I, I, ha I kind of have a feeling he's messing things up, but I'm not exactly sure. All right, let's wait three hours in White Run. Okay. Well, like I said, I vaguely remember leveling up in the rift. So I'm holding out hope that this guy spawns when we head to Riften, which will be our last destination. Although, I kind of remember traveling to Whiterun to Dragon's Reach first. 
Oh man, I'm really getting anxious about this. Um, Cause this might throw a big ass wrench in the gears. But that's okay. That's okay. If there's absolutely nothing we can do, we will make do. Uh, yeah, my word though, I will not give up unless there's literally no other way. Okay, no Dawnstar. No dice for Dawnstar. Okay, so how many major towns do we have left? We've got Winterhold, Windhelm, and then Riften. Like I said, I think we were somewhere out here when I leveled up to 80. Um, I could be wrong though, but we'll try Winterhold. I don't know why they would spawn in Winterhold, but who knows? It should be a major hold. I know that. It should be a major hold, and you guys are going to know something's up as soon as we see this person. Let's wait four, five, six, seven hours. Oh gosh, please don't be glitched. That would suck so bad. So, so bad. Okay, no dice for winter hold. Two more. Windhelm. I guess we were kind of close to Windhelm, so this could be a... This could be an opportunity here. I don't think we have to wait a certain amount of time. I think it's almost instantaneous after you become level... Is that combat music? No. Okay. Uh, let's wait four, five, six hours in Windhelm. And then we have one final place, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. This lady, I always think she's a courier because she's always running around. Alright. Everybody cross your fingers. In fact, we might end the episode right after we visit Riften, so... Oh boy, I actually think I was over 80 when I was in Riften. No, no I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, because I was clearing... The last time I was in Riften, if my memory serves, I was finishing off some of the miscellaneous objectives off camera, uh, which included handing out all of those pamphlets, which by the way is a pain in the ass, but I think you can wait and give it to the same people, because I'm pretty sure I handed them out to uh, the same people that I had already handed them out to when we first got that miscellaneous quest. Okay, we've waited 24 hours. And now we are going to Riften. If my memory serves, the last time I was in Riften, I was still at 79 and I was holding off on leveling up uh, for an, uh, for a Let's Play episode. So everybody cross your fingers if you're watching this. Oh, I hope this works. Come on. Mm. That's not good. That is not good. And I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have to wait either. Uh, let's wait 12 hours, which will be 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. There is actually one more place to check that I forgot about, and that is Raven Rock. Although I'm pretty sure we've been to Raven Rock because, yeah, we fast traveled there uh, when we went to go kill Lord Tusk. So, pretty sure that one's scratched out too. Um, but this person is definitely not in Riften. The city still reeks with the stench of the storm. Oh my my my. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, one final place. Club. And then I think we'll end the episode because there's nothing left for me to do. But just know, off camera, I will be trying to locate this person. And I will also be scrounging up all the materials to finish our house. Okay. Oh. I wonder if it's because this dragon is here. And he may have scared the dude off. I've heard that might be a thing. Okay, we need to kill this dragon. It's been far too long. I've heard it is kind of... I heard it is a thing that um, a dragon appearing could mess up. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we need to kill this dragon as uh, along with the rest. Where's my dragon red? Uh, along with the rest... That was a weak-ass arrow. Along with the rest of Raven Rock. Uh, Raven Rock is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and then we need to look around. Yes, I have heard... Oh, why would you go back there? I have heard that if dragons land, they can uh, mess this whole thing up. Because the person will be aggroed. And if they are in that town, if they appear in that town... If I hit this dragon, I'm the best Skyrim player ever. 
Ah, oh, I think we just barely missed him. Okay, can't drop down there. Come on, it's been it's been far too long. Can you get your ass over here? Okay. I just soul tore you, or I just dragon rented you. Why are you flying? Oh my god. Ugh. I really like dragons for the most part in Skyrim. I really like the design. I really like the whole gameplay mechanic of killing dragons and absorbing their souls. But my god. Don't make them spawn. Of course. Don't make them spawn in towns where they can't land somewhere. Like, if you're a melee character, what the hell are you going to do in this situation? The dragon keeps flying back here. Forsworn arrow. That's not good. Yeah, we need to switch to a better arrow here. This is not going to cut it. Uh, let's go. I know we have Dwarven. Dwarven's not that bad. Only four. Okay, this guy's going to take 1,000 arrows from us because we don't have the town on our, on our side. But archery has increased to 90, which means we can go ahead and place a perk. I know nobody likes this perk, but... Critical shot, 3 out of 3. 20% of a critical hit that does 50% more critical damage. Now, apparently the reason that's bad is because it goes off of base damage. So I guess what that means is our arrows deal 4 damage if we're using Dwarven. And then now it deals an extra 2 on top of that. Which, yeah, that doesn't sound like a lot. That was just a critical shot right there. Get your ass back down here. I know you only have, you only have one place to land. Which is why this fight is so stupid. Come on. There we go. Alright, Captain Velet. Go after him. I'll keep him grounded. Yeah, we killed a revered dragon on stream, and it just took forever. 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 Okay. And down you go. Alright. Give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Okay. Down goes the dragon that's been plaguing Raven Rock for forever. And I just really hope that that didn't glitch this. I don't know why he would be in Raven Rock, though. When's the last time we were in Solstein? Like forever ago, right? But now we just need to quickly scour Raven Rock and keep an eye out for an odd looking man. I don't know where he would be, if not at the start. Just a whole bunch of bone mold armor guards walking around. And that's not the type of armor that we're looking for. Oh, man. Alright. Yeah, two dragons might have ruined this. And I'm not exactly sure if they have or if that was the cause. Okay. Let's wait 12 hours. This will be the final waiting period. We're going to look straight ahead. And we're going to wait 12 hours. I don't even know if this guy can spawn in Raven Rock. Yeah, so the dragon in, in uh, White Run that will not despawn. And he's constantly just flinging his dead body all over the place. And then this dragon here that we've constantly bend its, uh, bended its will. And nothing. Man. That is unfortunate. That is seriously unfortunate. Okay, everybody's out and about now. Just one last quick check. Nope! Okay, uh, well... I just really don't want to give up. I, uh, never give up. I, I rarely give up on things. I'm a very adamant person. So, we're gonna check two more places. We're gonna check Riverwood, just in case. And then we're going to go once more back to Whiterun, which, like I said, is usually where this person is. Every time I've met this person, they've usually been in Whiterun. Um, if this doesn't work out, if there's literally no way uh, to make this guy spawn, I have just thought of another way that we could do this, and we'll probably do that. I'm not going to go in depth, but have no fear. Uh, I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that we'll still be able to have the ending that I envisioned 
as most of you caught on to. A lot of you guys guessed it. Congratulations. Still not going to say exactly what it is. Ah, oh, there's just carts flinging all over the place now. Okay, I didn't think they would be in, in uh... I know you. Oh my god. Wait. I know you. Why? There's no mistake. You're a wanted man. And it's time to pay for your crimes. I'm with the guild. I already paid this. All right, all right. Just keep your voice down. And don't let me catch what you. What have I done? I don't even remember what I've done. I haven't killed anyone in, in Whiterun. It's so odd. Okay. Uh, last last chance, ladies and gents. We're going to fast travel to Whiterun. I don't think this is going to work. But. Man, I wish it would. Yeah. Okay. Wait. And. I know you. Oh, my God. Dragon. Maybe if I take his crap, he'll leave. I don't know what's going on here. It's so odd. Okay. One final waiting period, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're going to end the episode, and then... We've only got one episode left before the finale. Like I said, I have, we'll figure out a way to make this work. But this is not good. Not good. I'm not sure why this isn't happening. But, um, if you guys know why, if you guys have any ideas, please leave, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, in between this episode and the next episode, I will be scrounging up for all the materials left to fully furnish our house. And I will also be keeping an eye out for this mystery man that I keep trying to find. And researching what in the world may be happening, because this has never happened so far. Thank you guys for watching this episode. We've got one left before the finale. And I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.